Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new video on Skipple Aviation's Master Channel. Today a little bit different, today with voice, today with me. My name is Mark um, and today we're going to fly from East Midlands to Dublin. We're going to fly for uh, Ryanair Virtual. So I'm just going to start the flight now. And there we go. And in the background we can see GSX doing this stupid hilarious turn around thing or something. And in the meantime let's just get ourselves started. Flick on the battery and get some ground connections. <coughs> I've already set up all the fuel we need and all the payload so we can see ground power is established and we have the battery is not deep charging and discharging my bad okay so first let's see if the flux are existing this is your seat has been allocated for you to comply with the weight and safety of the aircraft and on RSS please place all of your cabin bags underneath the seat in front of you wait for it to go to a line Occupying a motion three rounds with just sixteen and one ABC and two Okay, let's flip on the job then. Scan this part, it's all good for now. Galley power and back power for the coffee machine is on. These are normal armed emergency exit lights. We can flick on the seatbelt sign. Click on the window heats. We've got some doors open right now, but that's normal because we've got catering service and we need to board still. Local light can come on. We're going up to flight level 240 today. Not that high, but not crazy low. Okay, and that's ourselves the overhead panel done. So let's get ourselves started on the FMC. Okay, so we're departing from East Midlands, Echo Golf November XA. And we are at stand 42. I don't know if it takes it. It does. And we grab the GPS position and flip it in there. Our IR is aligned. We got ourselves a company route today from PFPX. I'm going to take the runway 27. Call sign is Ryanair 80 Romeo Mike. Something like that. Execute. And G6 wants us to close some doors already. They're pretty quickly today. Let's just close that doors. Those doors. And get ourselves a departure route. We're also on Fat Sim, no ATC line, so we can just get the 27 and it's the trend to November departure. So, go to the perf, flick ourselves the zero fuel weight in, 61 tons. And let's have a look at the reserves, it's 1.090 today. I never virtual always use a cost index of 6 and we're going up to front level 240 today. Now let's have a look at some wind information at 240. If I can find it. <coughs> the winds are 279. That's 
Let's see if we can get some temperatures. Hmm. I'm not saying oh, well, it's not a major problem. Transition altitude 6,000 feet. Execute. I'm using standard tape today. Flux into 34. Select it. Outside temperature. The runway is pretty wet and the weather is not too nice, so we're going to have a bit of a handful in that part. Okay, so the FMC is set. Let's set the MCP and our map. Let's have a look at the conditions at East Midlands. The weather is. 240 at 22 knots, gusting 34, 4000 meters visibility, rain, moderate rain, scattered 1200, broken 2300, temperature 4, dew point 2, QNH 9992. So let's set the QNH of 9992. There we are. You can flip that to. Get this, to, get this to the V2 speed, that's 147, no, not too far, 147, runway heading 270, and this we can throw the altitude to our cruising level, of cruise flight level 240, set the other side up as well, traffic terrain on that side, and we're pretty much ready for push and start. So let's get ourselves on the unicorn. 1 to 2 does my 8. And set our squad to 2000. Test the T cans. Can flip the park and break on in the meantime. Okay, the TCAS test did its thing. Fire test. It's working. Fire test for cargo. Working also. Hello. Left circuit and right circuit both working. Hello. Let's check the stall test. And the Mac overspeed. Both working too. Check the cockpit voice recording, not that we need it, but oh well. But just keep it as realistic as possible and do the overall test. Flying a nice livery of Ryanair, the Pride of Scotland. Pretty nice. Baggage loading in progress, it says, but I think it just got rid of the. Baggage loaders, poor and complete. Okay, there we go. Let's just close ourselves all the doors and get away. Okay, all the doors are closed. Let's flick on the aft power fuel pump and get ourselves started with the view. Okay, so today we have treacherous weather on departure. Uh, runway condition will be wet. If it's wet. The V1 of 136, VR of 138, and the V2 of 147 reflects 5. Let's just set the trim already. We can do that. And the engines are off. 4.7 units of trim. That should do. Okay. And let's just wait for the APU to come online. Okay, so the APU has come online. Flick those on. You can just ask GSX for pushback. Prepare for pushback and departure. No, we won't. Want. We don't want the icing treatment. And Check your icing right. conditions. Please stand by for engine start until push completed and brakes set. GSX screaming at us. It's plus four, so we don't have to wait. Click on all the fuel pumps. Hello, Captain. Check that everything is normal. It is. 
It only says dual bleed, but that's not strange. Oh yeah, we need to remove the ground uh, things, ground connections. And flip this one on the legs page. I'm just going to throw turbulence on the weather radar, weather and turbulence, so we can see uh, some turbulence that may be ahead. Check if L9 and Venus are working, and they are, so we're good. Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, there we go. Commencing push. Due to icing conditions, please stand by for exit short until push completed and brake set. Okay, we won't wait for the engine start because it's more than okay to start an engine right now. Okay, so we'll wait for 25% and 2. And that after 25% we'll throw in some fuel and get ourselves a look at the engine. Okay, 24, 25, throw in fuel. And we just should want to make this run. So let's just have a look at the engine starting itself. Let's start a good out. Starting engine one. Again, waiting for twenty five percent and two. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Let's set the partner rate for GSX to do the same. Switches to continuous, ready for takeoff. Flick on the flick off the APU bleed and flick off the APU master. Throwing on the hydraulics and packs and broke here. Right that to general that one. Everything seems okay. Okay, so it's plus four, so we don't need any anti ice on takeoff. I throw the weather radar on and auto throttle. Let's get rid of that. Flaps 5. And a control check. Full forward, full backward, full left, and full right rudder. Okay, that seems to be correct. So let's get ourselves in the way. Start that clock for taxi and let's increase some power. Get ourselves moving. Okay, we'll taxi out via taxi in November, where we are on right now. Turn right here at Mont Alpha, and get short of Alpha 1 at the minute 27. And that's the only problem I got with the scene at East Midlands. We're bumping over the grass, according to the bad. smoke from the chimneys. 
It's uh, not too busy today outside these Midlands. Because we are the only departure. My bad, forgot to turn on the taxi lines. Let's just throw on the tickets already because then we can see if someone is on final. Going on final. Never knew that it would be so bumpy at uh, East Midlands, but oh well. See the landing gear suspension going like crazy. Okay, so there we go, we're almost at the holding points. We're gonna go straight on, so let's flick on the ring lights and the strobes. Tikas is on already, so we can go on and taxi onto the runway. See the strobes flicking nicely. Oh, that's the wrong one. Ourselves rolling, start the clock 40% and one. Okay, seems stable. Go down. It's going to be bumpy, guys, but oh well. Really nasty side wind. Okay, so we go. V1. V1. V1 rotate. Oh dear lord. Winch. V2. Okay, we got a positive climb gear up. Okay. 
that were climbing away in this one. Speed and then one. Let's just get the puzzle out, puzzle back off, and gear off. And let's just start our turn. Climb power. And get ourselves up to speed. Okay. So that can battle the wind and the weather for us. Okay, so we need to pay attention to the temperature because we got rain. It's plus 8 so we shouldn't have any problems with icing conditions right now. Go to flex 1. And there are the slats. The flaps are up. Okay, so I should have to take a checklist. Let's just flip these off. These can go off. So I'll have to take a checklist. Landing gear is up and off, flips are up and off, auto brake off, landing lights are on to 10,000, auto off the engine start switches are normal off. Okay, so let's climb to uh, cruising level, cruising level 240, and uh, I'll see you back uh, just before the beginning of the descent. So, welcome back everybody, uh, we're just approaching about 30 miles from the top of the sand. So I was just thinking, let's just uh, approach, first let's have a look at the weather at Dublin. Dublin is not too good also, uh, the matter of sense, uh, wind 280 degrees at 21 knots, custom 31, visibility is 10 kilometers or more. That's okay. Uh, fuel clouds at 1200 feet, scattered clouds at 5000 5, feet, and broken at 140. Temperature is 3, dew point is 1 to meet 999, and no significant change expected. So, with a wind of 280, we're going to take the lead 28. So, let's just Click the arrival in ILS for number 28 and it backs 1 kilo. Let's have a look at the approach. Okay. Throw it to plan mode and just throw down the. So we'll just, we can just connect to that should be good. Okay, go. What are you doing? Yep, there we go. Okay, that there. So there we go. That's good. Back. Unable to reach 250 knots on the back, so, so let's have a look at the problem there. It should be. An easy fix, it should work out fine. Okay. I'm going to use flaps 30 with a V ref of 147. Okay, so I've already set up the frequency for the ILS. The one you saw in the FMC isn't the correct one, sometimes it just won't display the right one. Out of level 2, and we we'll just need to look up some minimums. Okay, so the minimum minimums today are 279, 279. So let's just get those up. Okay, so and everything's set for the approach for the send. 
top of the center 20 nautical miles. I'll see you when we're a bit close to the airport. Thank you. 
Okay, so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are approaching our beginning of the ILS, and we're now descending to some fruit, seven thousand feet, approaching the transition level. Just flying over the sea for now, but maybe we can see some land already. No, not just. Okay. <coughs> so we're nice in profile for the. VNF, the Norton VNF profile. And it's just another 20 miles before we are at the touchdown zone. So let's see the progress page. Yeah, we need about 27 nautical miles before we are at the airport. And we have about 5 minutes to touchdown. So we should be pretty fine. Just remember the free ref of 147. I'm just hitting some turbulence there. Yeah, you can always prevent that or see it coming. I should say it that way. Okay, so we'll expect them when well, let's approach on runway 28. Frequency is set both sides on 11.35. And the course of 279, I also have already set the heading to 279 in case we need to go around, uh, which I don't think we need that. Oh well, you never know for sure. Outbreak is set to level 2. And the altitude is set to 2500 for the beginning of the islands. The lights are on. The side switches are set to continuous already. We'll just wait for the text line to, until we're on the ground. Everything is balanced. looking good in the meantime, so we should not have any problems. Just look at that wind going up and down, not crazy. I really think that the, the NGX is a masterpiece of an aircraft. It just BMG did such an outstanding job. Oh, we don't need to. We just need to set the standard pressure. Yeah, they, I just think um, I also fly the Airbus from Aerosoft, but I don't think it can tip to the NGX. I think by far not. Uh, the NGX is way better modeled, like everything you do has effect on the complete aircraft. Um, you just need to flick one switch wrong and it has its effect on the complete aircraft. Oh look at that, there's another aircraft there. He's just turning on the ILS, so let's just drop some speed then. Speed into Fiend and go all the way to flaps 5. Already. No, I didn't see him. He didn't. One on TGAS. Okay, so it's an A321. So let's just get some fire back. Flaps 5. Let's just arm the speed brakes already. And go to 170 knots. Because he is pretty damn close. Is now about seven and a half nautical miles. It's not too crazy, but oh well. Let's arm localizer and it's captured already. Now let's arm approach the glide slope. Let's just keep a good eye out for the traffic in front of us. I don't think it will be any matter, but okay. So we're noticed. We notify everyone on. The yeah, Unicorn Frequency. Yeah, he's just a nice distance away from us now. That's better. Okay, let's just wait for the glide to come in. And the 
just a little bit off center. Let's just hope it restores itself. Just getting some nasty turbulence. Let's set the missile approach of 3000. Now we can see the runway visually up there. That's what I'm saying, we're a bit to the left, I guess, but. Isn't that much of a problem? We're having a side wind of 30 knots, so <laughs> we should be fine. The only problem is my auto throttle doesn't want us to descend, so I'm just going to flick the auto throttle out now and take manual control of the speed. And then the autopilot will just continue with the glide slope and the localizer. And we can just decelerate a bit more. Where's the traffic? Okay, I lost visual of the traffic, I think it was in the clouds. Let's just slow down a bit more, gear down, flaps 15. Okay, I think he's dead. I don't see him that well, but let's just scroll down to ref. Go to final approach speed. Okay, he's two and a half miles in front of me, so that's not too good. I hope he knows how to get going because. Okay, let's just get him some power back. And go to flex 30 and then we can do, do a landing checklist okay so landing checklist landing gear is down three greens flaps of 30 green lines and brake set to two speed, speed brake is armed yes and the switches are con engine switches are continuous landing lights are on okay so we've got the runway inside let's take manual control Oh, I'm just almost over speaking. Okay, I can see the aircraft on the runway now, so let's just get ourselves off the power totally. Okay, we have a nice strong headwind now, so that's lovely. the power and just stay level for a second. See the guard slope going back. And the aircraft almost forgetting the runway. Minimums. Minimums are going to land because the aircraft is almost forgetting. And he is now. So let's continue our First is green, diesel. Uh, 8 knots, 60 knots, my bad. Disable the outer brake and the reverses. And roll the sense of the runway. Flick on my taxi light. When the lights can come off. So, here we go. Get the spoilers in and we'll track the flaps. Stop the clock on that side so we have a air time. Okay. 
and let's use taxi to reach them. Going to taxi to stand uh, 123. So let's just instruct GSX what we're going to get. Gate 123. No phone car. Uh, we're going to handle him by Ryanair, of course, because we're on there. Let's, let's, let's stuff off now because we don't need it anymore. Water radar can come off. Traffic. Now. Okay, so there we are. All set. So that was an exciting uh, change of plans. I didn't see the aircraft coming uh, from the left, so he did a straight in almost on the runway, and we just came in from uh, from the from the left side, from right for him. So he just uh, wedged himself in front of us so uh, sometimes you don't see that stuff coming but uh, I'm glad we did it uh, we did saw him on time and didn't crash right into him So we'll take our left here onto mic two. Unfortunately, he doesn't have as a normal matching. Let's see what kind of call sign he has. Golf Hotel Yankee. Uh, I don't know which airline it is. I can't make it off. <coughs> Let's just see where he's going. He's parking over there. Oh yeah, he parked over there, so we don't need to worry about him. Okay, approaching the runway. He's clear. Follow the link here and just throw it back around. You can see your stand over there. You can see the G-Sex sky doing its thing already. Let's just start the AP now and get rid of the taxi lines. there. Not the best parking ever, but oh well. It does what it needs to do. Stop the clock on that side. No, oh, it didn't stop. Stop it. And just wait a second for the APU to come online. Throw off the integration lights for the APU online. And let's just dump the engines. Throw off all fuel pumps except for the aft one, hydraulics, the probes, and the packs we can get off now. 
Well, let's get our seatbelt signs on. So, there we are. Welcome to Dublin. Rainy, rainy Dublin. Engines are spooling down and the luggage is being collected. So, if you thought it was a. Uh, if you enjoyed the fight, let's uh, put it that way, just give this video a like. If you want to see more of this kind of videos with Forrest and uh, just a, a complete fight, I guess, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, say in the comments whatever you uh, will like, which uh, destination we, you would like to see we fly to or fly from, and uh, maybe we'll just see it in the next video. So, uh, with that being said, see you next time guys, bye bye.